Yo, what's good? Let's check out the new episode for the world's finest assassin. Now, make sure you follow my socials and don't forget the YouTuber things. And if you want to check out other reactions for this series, you can click this link right up here. It'll take you to that playlist. Shout out to our amazing patrons over on Patreon, getting access to the full length reactions of all of the anime from fall 2021 onward. If you want to join in and become a patron, then make sure you click the link down in the description. And that way you can get access to those full length reactions for the anime that I watch seasonally. And if you're interested in more exclusive, unfiltered full length reactions that won't be edited and uploaded to YouTube for quite a while, Got a tier for that. Previously in World's Finest Assassin, we saw the background episode for Maha. She's the third girl. So, you know, in the OP and then even in the first episode, we saw our lead, Lug, with three ladies. We've already met one, Tart, and then we met another. Oh, actually, first we met, I don't even remember her name, but the 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 magician girl, not the magician girl, what? <laughs> the, the magic user, the one that sort of taught our boy some magic. And then there was a third one missing, that was the blue hair. Sure enough, that was the previous episode where we get introduced to her. We see her background story, which is pretty fucked up, going from the child of a merchant, I believe is what she said, to being orphaned. And then her and all of her orphan family being used to, I don't want to say break the rules so much as the bad guys of the previous episode were basically taking advantage of something that was supposed to be used for good, but in the end was used for bad because they found a loophole. It would have been one thing to take advantage of them by having them do like child labor. Like that's fucked up, but they went way beyond that. But I feel like the one thing I will say about the previous episode is it spent way too much time on this shit. Like, I feel like you got the point across pretty early on. It was a hard to watch episode, but I don't think it was hard to watch like, and it like got my emotions the only thing it made me was angry. You know, it didn't make me feel sad so much for Maha. It just felt like kind of dragged out and it made me fucking angry. I'm sure that's how most people felt, at least in the anger part of it. I mean, you might have felt some other emotions, but basically everybody felt anger towards these guys at the very least. But in this episode, we're going to see how Luke is managing to take on this new role that he has as the son of a merchant and how Maha is going to play into things, especially since Tart is around. So I will stop talking. Let's just jump into the episode. Damn, he's a doctor and a merchant. Mm. Now you owe a debt to him. Yeah. Damn. That's cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't be saying those words out loud like that. Mmm, they're definitely gonna do some like weird Onichan oh, type of shit with that, man. 100%. I mean, thankfully, they're not actually related, though. Unlike in anime where they do that shit and they are 100% related. Mmm, interesting. Ooh, cool. He's in charge of a shop now? Interesting. It's kind of true, though. That's what happens when you're like 50 something years old. Mm. Let's go. Bacon steak. Damn, brother. It's a pie. Dude, listen, if you know me, you know I love pie. Pie is fire. Damn, when he says father, you got to think of which father now. I guess. During this arc, it's just gonna be Merchant Papa. The Balor, Balor Dad. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Nah, he knows something else, bro. He gonna go plus ultra beyond that shit. Oh, nah. What is going on here, bro? What's he about to do? Oh, man. Hey, yo, stop being weird, bro. <laughs> stop being weird. Damn. I like that. Okay. Yo, for a show that's literally created by the guy that did redo of a healer, like, he is not making our lead very, you know, which is good. I like that. 
She wearing a mask. What's going on here? Why is she wearing a mask like that, bro? They got Rona up in this? <laughs> what? They don't have moisturizers and lotion? <laughs> Ew, disgusting peasant times. I could not live without my moisturizer. <laughs> no, I'm, just I'm just kidding. I need to actually use moisturizer on my face more. <laughs> oh. Oh. My skin feels so moist. Bro, you used a lot, bro. About to moisturize your whole damn head? <laughs> they like zoom into her face and then you just see like the little skin particles like, yay! <laughs> oh. Yo, what's that thing? Damn. <laughs> damn, what a bitch, bro. Yeah, you about to start sampling. Walk up to some people. You need a little bit of this. Nice. This whore's son. Dude, what a bitch. I mean, it's understandable though. Like, I, I can't really like fault her for it. Damn, a month. That's kind of cool. That was so weird. I hate seeing 3D animation inside of a 2D animated thing. Oh, man. Please flatten it. That's facts. Okay. Let's go. Why are they always naked in those, bro? What the fuck? You can be in line since the morning, so whatever, man. Wait, is she one of the ones that used to be... Or no, am I asleep? Nah. I don't know. I don't remember their names. I don't remember any of their names. Okay, yeah, so she, it is. Okay, I thought so. Oh, that's cool. Cool. Yeah, they know about the hustle. Ooh. He don't know what you know, and we know that you the man. Sh what the fuck? <laughs> the torturing. They're going to torture him now? Oh, 100%. No, I don't want to watch it. No, I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, I don't like anything to deal with nails. Oh, that and like teeth and mm -mm. I'm not watching any of that shit. No shot, bro. Ugh, that type of, I hate that shit, man. Okay, next one. What are you? I wasn't, that didn't, that didn't feel very good. Problem is you got, how, what I'm wondering is what does bringing a rapper into this world do? Like his goal is to kill the hero. He's going to kill him, kill him with, with, with a fire ass verse. What the fuck sense does that make? That is probably the dumbest thing that I've seen so far 
in this anime? Like, like, what did he expect? Like, what or what did she expect rather? Like, what did she expect would happen? Just because you are a rapper does not mean you are somehow capable of killing someone. Not every rapper is fucking, um, I don't know, the baby. Aww. Aw, oh, they're becoming friends. Okay, cool. Oh, that's cool. That's cute. Gra gravity. Oh, something about gravity. Oh, cool, dude. Damn. Ooh, chocolates. Damn, this man is inventing shit just by knowing knowledge of his own world. That's interesting. What are y'all baking? Ooh, that look good. Okay, what y'all making out here? Damn. That look kind of good, though. She. You need to get her to stay with you, too. No shot people breathe like that while they sleep. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, bro. When I be sleeping, I don't be like... Like, what? I'm just saying. Oh, my God. Here comes the fan service. No! Oh my god! Oh, I, of course! Why did I expect this anime wasn't gonna go down this road, bro? For a moment I thought it wouldn't, but no, of course. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> this is so bad! <laughs> bro! Ah, man. I I really... Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. Part of me just did not think that that was gonna happen. But then the other part of me was like, okay, man, that's... this. There's... Eventually, it's gotta go down that road, right? Eventually, it's got... This dude's got a harem. He's obviously got a harem, right? You get reincarnated. It's a reincarnated world. This is Isekai. You see multiple women around the... It's a harem. We finally got introduced to the true harem element that is uh, the underlying subplot here. The true plot. The harem plot. Let's talk about this, this episode. This one introduces our boy. Well, last episode technically introduced our boy as Illig... Illig Bo Boral, whatever. I don't know, man. But this episode went to develop him more. So we found out that Maha is now part of his group and she's actually being recognized as his younger sister. And he now has a job to fulfill. Uh, just because first he helps out like his Boral brother, or I, I think that's the name, dude, uh, their last name. But I, he helps out the brother with his Tuaha Day surgery techniques. And then he gains a little bit more trust from his new father. It's very confusing because he actually has a family and then he has his new family. It's, I don't know. He, he, I, I hope that you guys understand what I'm trying to say here. If you watch the episode, then you know. But yeah, it, through that new trust, he has gained new standing and he can do more and he actually gets ownership of a shop he decides to create a new product for that shop marketed to women but honestly moisturizer could be used by anybody in this day and age a lot of people use moisturizer i use moisturizer sometimes i should use it more often but i i don't but yeah he creates a moisturizer something that literally doesn't exist i think he i think that a lot of places don't even have chocolate like little chocolates that might be something that he can create more with, especially since he has a little bit of chef experience. But that moisturizer is going to sell really well. We see that even though his new mother hates him, even though she's not actually his mother, you know, uh, he's seen as like a bastard basically, but that new mom does not like him, likes the products though. So she's gonna be cool with it. And yeah, that business is gonna be booming. He's got Maha leading the shop there. And he's also every month going to learn more spells from the, 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 the mage lady that taught him magic in the first place. So that's cool. He's learned a new, he like a gravity spell. That's dope. And of course the episode ends with, um, well, you know, it ends, we saw. Of course, so now they're finally gonna go down that harem route. He's an adolescent boy. He's, he's doing things and experiencing things and some reason two girls that are literally not related to him and of course are developing so much <laughs> outside of their character are also really wanting to sleep in the same bed as him at every night um 
I mean, what did we expect was going to happen, right? It, eventually, it had to occur. Like, I thought maybe, oh, maybe it won't happen because he is so strict and he has that former life as a 50-year-old man and, and he didn't experience those things or didn't care to experience those things because he was focused on his work. Maybe that's not something. No, that's not the case. It's definitely something that we're going to be seeing in the future episodes. I don't think we're going to get actual, like, stuff animated here because that's not the type of anime we're getting. I think <laughs> okay, well, I don't know why I expected this like didn't expect this to happen like there was actually a part of me that didn't believe it would happen like oh this guy doesn't seem like the type of guy to, to want this and no uh from here I would love to know what you all thought of the episode if there was something that really stuck out to you how do you feel about the situation are, are we all going to act like this is a Rudy thing is anybody else gonna act like this is a Rudy thing where he's interested in underage women but it, actually he's like got 50 years of age plus his current age. So he's like 60 years old, interested in underage women. Or actually he's not really showing interest in him. Maybe that's the difference is that Rudy actually displays his perverted side where uh, Luke does not really do that. Maybe that's the difference just because one is openly perverted and one is not, then we're gonna be accepting of it. I don't know, I would love to know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. I do anime type of content, so if that sounds like the type of content that you might be interested in, then please do subscribe to the channel. And until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.